All right, then. Hello, guys. Today, we're going to be doing a new Ponable.kr challenge. And the challenge I'm going to be doing today is called CMD. So as you see here, I'm already signed in inside this uh, inside this Linux server that they gave us. So CMD1, yeah. So you see it right there. I'm already signed in. So anyway, let's get started. So the first thing we do is we're giving three three files, executable, the original C code, and the flag. So like always, we can't cat the flag file. Permissions denied. So it has to be a vulnerability inside the C code, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna open the C code. So cat cmd one dot dot c, and we see we're giving uh this. This was our input. So it says int main. So it passes in an environment path of thank you very much, and then after that, there's a filter going on with argv one. If you guys don't know what argv one, it's basically when you run an executable command. It grabs whatever uh, command is at the end. So if I, if I were to run this executor, which is called CMD, CMD, arg, argv0 will be this part of it, and argv1 will be whatever after the space. So in my case, I'll just type hello. And then after that, it passes hello through this filter. And this filter is checking for if 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 the argv1, uh, argv1 has a... Uh, has flag sh or temp and if it does it increments it and then after that it returns whatever r is incremented and then after that it goes through this if statement so if filter is a number if filter is a number uh greater than one or one or greater than that means it returns zero and it exits out the program else uh else uh else it runs it runs as system so in our case hello gets passed into filter but since filter and then it checks for flag sh and temp since it's none of these that means it doesn't increment so it gets runs through system so it'll be system with hello and then system we'll check what system does so system what it basically does and see it's 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 like passing um it's like a is a command to the host environment to be executed by a command processor. So it's basically like a running, running like a terminal commands, basically. So if we run this successfully, it should type hello. I'm, I'm guessing like hello command not found. Hello not found. Yeah. So hello command not found. So what I'm thinking is that we're supposed to pass in uh, cat and then the flag, the flag file. So, but you see right here, flag, it seems to be a... Uh, seems to be filtered out so how do we do this so one way that we could do this is basically by using uh, a a cool trick because it's it's looking for the file flag and if it, if it finds it, it increments it but if you guys don't know in the i guess in linux commands if you just type in like if i put two two uh two quotation marks and wrap it around like hello and then one two three and add a space and then I add another quotation marks right next to it and I type in world four five six and if I put this all together it treats it as an entire thing all together so what we could do is we could separate the flag command by just typing fl fla and then type it as g and since it's looking for the literal flag value, since this is separated by FL and, and then a bunch of uh, quotes, that means that this doesn't get passed in. This, this uh, it doesn't recognize this. So we just type in this. It says flag. So it says flag, uh, no command flag found. So that's one way to bypass this. So, so if we just do um, CMD, and just wrap it around and then we put quotation marks we type in cat and then we just wrap it around fl and then ag and if we enter this in nothing happens the reason why nothing happens is because uh i guess for the most part it doesn't know which cat we're trying to execute so if we do which cat and then later on if we just do something like this if we just type in bin cat i'm typing this oh nothing happens uh, oh it might be because it's escaping so i just need to just type this no this should work yeah now it worked the reason why i needed to add these uh quote these uh 
these slashes is because uh, so it could stop the escape. That's basically it. For the most part, this is not the only way you could solve this. You could also use string. So, or let's see what happens if I just change it to cat. Yeah, cat command not found. So yeah, our cat command isn't found because I guess of cat uh, cmd one dot c. Since the environment path is, thank you very much. So we're gonna have to like literally search for the path. Like literally, uh, type in the path where cat where cats at. So we do which cat like that. Uh, this is not the only solution. There's many, multiple other solutions. Another solution that I found is just by using strings too. To do these strings. Oh, it's not, strings is not located there. So which strings? You just need to type in which strings. User bin strings. So it will be user. And then you just put this at the end. And then this should work too. Yeah, that works as well. Another thing you could do is just do cat star. If you do cat star. You see all these, uh, or everything that you could cut out gets uh, cut it out. So if we just run that in uh, on this one too as well. <coughs> My bad. Um, if we do a uh, user, oh, bin cat. Then we just type in cat, bin cat. And then we just type uh, star, which is, it means get everything. We see a bunch of it get printed out, and then at the end we see the the flag file, right here. So we just all we need to do is just copy this and submit it, and it's gonna tell me I already submitted it because uh, I already did this challenge. Oh, because I'm not signed in, but this is the flag. Yeah, login first. Yeah, but yeah, this is the flag for this challenge. Hopefully, you guys learned something new today. I know I did. Well, like how to bypass this, and then like the weird uh, system how it treats uh, or how the terminal treats like if you just separate stuff like FL. And then AG, and it treats it as an entire word. It just combines it, concatenates it. So yeah, that was about it for this challenge. I'll probably be my next video is probably gonna be another uh, uh, Lord of SQL Live video because those are doing like really good at the moment. So anyway, that was about it, and hope you guys enjoy. Peace.